hello guys welcome to this new video today we are going to create an outro using Camtasia studio so let's get started <music> So our outro will look like this. So let's get started guys. For that open your Camtasia Studio 9 and click on new project. After doing this, what you have to do is go to Google and type for free copyrighted video backgrounds or free video backgrounds, both are same and click on this one video by vo.net. The link will be in the description of this website. Okay, here you can see uh, there are a nice backgrounds updated every week which are free to use so ch uh, you can use them anywhere you want so I'll download this one I'll use this one now okay I have already downloaded this so what you have to click is free download and the background will get downloaded after doing that go to file import and insert your download file video so drag that one to your timeline and track one okay after doing that go to annuations and click on this one a callouts and select the text and drag that one below downwards like this after doing this you have to edit the text change the text I'll type thanks for watching also I'll choose another call out wait a minute I'll choose this one this text is kind of good I like this one okay thanks for watching I'll make the text size to 100 after doing this one drag this one out like this and place it here upwards this much is enough okay after doing this drag this one text a little bit outwards like this on your timeline uh, a couple of seconds that's enough okay after doing that one again go to innovations and select this one shapes and add shapes you have to select this one the box which is which inner portion is uh, completely transparent like this select that shape after selecting that shape move this one a little bit further the your shape okay a couple of seconds like this after doing this drag this one towards the left and resize it uh, make it in such a way that you sh your video should fix don't make it too large kind of this much is enough okay this much is enough or else this much is enough okay after doing this one ma make sure that your video fits in this drag this one a little bit outwards like this okay this much is enough I guess okay yes let's drag this one a little bit outwards like this okay then next you have to press on the shape select the shape on timeline and control c which means copy and paste this paste it above like this and drag this one here the both should be at the correct positions like this 
and after that drag this one out I'll choose the shapes outline as yellow because I kind of like yellow and yellow and this is okay after doing this select the shape and mix make its opacity 85 percent and do the same for other shape also 85 after doing this what it does is it use kind of a transparent effect which is which which is good in my opinion if you people don't like then don't use the opacity here okay after doing this you have to add here previous video and here random video text so for that click on this thanks for watching text and control C and pay go to the timeline and paste it like this afterwards okay this much uh, you have to move this one a couple of seconds further like this okay and uh, drag this one here and drag this one out like this and type in previous video here you will here you should add your previous video on your youtube channel you have to add there the pure previous video may uh, i'll change the text size to 75 or else 100 is okay 75 is enough for this because i have to add some more things below that one okay then again select sorry okay more after moving this one control c select this one this previous video and control c and paste it above like this and make sure you place them both at the right time after doing that drag this one uh, okay select this one or, or select the above one and drag that one out like this okay yes okay after doing that i edit the text i'll choose this as random video if your video contains if you want to insert the heading of your previous video or, or uh, your popular video you can type it here you can also type it here it's your wish okay after that okay uh, it's almost completed or outro after that you have to add your facebook like and the twitter follow and youtube subscribe kind of stuff you can add those uh, i can show you how to add those okay so go to chrome and click on uh, go to search and type facebook p logo png after typing that one click on images here and select the first one and go to visit page after doing that uh, select the logo whichever you want i'll select this one which is kind of good okay click here download now your logo is downloaded which will be transparent so you people don't have to edit the cut the background and all for this Okay, after downloading extract that file okay as you can see Facebook this is the Facebook logo which is a PNG which means there is a transparent background there will be no background for that image again go to Chrome and type in Twitter logo PNG and click on images and select the first one and go to visit page <coughs> and uh, select the one which you want I'll select basically this one okay after that click right click save image as and save your logo it will save as a PNG so always up uh, what's a png means uh, your transparent back uh, there will be a transparent background 
there will be a logo and the background will be transparent that such an image is called as png okay then next you have to find the youtube png oh sorry that's png okay select the one which you want i'll select this one okay visit page and download that one save image has okay save this after saving those files okay you can see them here okay open them open all of them in your Camtasia file import media downloads okay I have the Facebook logo and I'll insert the Twitter logo and I'll also insert the YouTube logo okay after doing that drag your Facebook logo first and drag it were like here like couple of seconds further than the uh, those text previous video and random video you can see here okay after doing that one drag this logo here downwards like this and resize it this much okay this much is enough okay insert it here and after doing or oh, I'll make it a little bit smaller you have to insert text below so after doing this go a little bit upwards like this and go to animations and select the or else uh, wait a minute or else copy this text control C and paste it above like this okay after doing this tag this text below and edit the text as like and drag that one like this oh that text is pretty big so for that make your text almost 50 50 will be enough okay it will appear big on your screen okay facebook like that's good okay i'll also make it 65 okay that should be enough okay sorry oh shit okay after doing this again make the same for the twitter logo also i'll make it fast because my video is taking a little bit long okay after doing this uh, you people i just skipped i guess okay uh, after doing the this uh, i am making this next you if you want you can add your logo channel logo youtube channel logo i have my own so i'll add those that one also okay and insert it towards it little bit further like this resize my logo and I'll place it here okay after making I'll resize this one a little bit smaller like this okay after doing this the next what you have to, next what you have to do is click uh, you have to drag these all stuff till here it should be like end of uh, till end of your background like this it's like 10 seconds I'll drag all of them out okay after doing this you have to add transitions go to transitions and add this one always add a fade so i'll add to all of them i'll skip this
so as you can see your outro is ready now okay so at next uh, you have to render this outro and upload uh, you have to merge this uh, add this outro at, end, at the end of your video and upload it to YouTube after uploading to YouTube you have to select your videos uh, you can do that stuff uh, you c I know you, I hope you know all those stuff adding the the video at the end screen video you can get that options uh, by clicking creating creator studio and uh, while you edit your videos online on youtube there there is a there is an option called as end screen animation you can click those and add your videos there i'll if you know you people know that okay i'm showing you right uh, now on the screen so you have to use uh, go there and add those videos so thank you for watching this was a video on how to create an outro using camtasia studio 9 uh, uh please like my video comment my video comment on my video and make sure you subscribe so for such kind of videos in your future and click on the bell icon so thank you very much okay